the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. Amen. Now, well, uh, first, in the Lord has spoken with me. Um, the Lord Jehovah spoke with me this first night in a very, very astounding conversation. And uh, in this past night, the Lord finally showed me the person of the Antichrist. Again, in this past night, the Lord spoke with me. And in that conversation, he brought me to a place, and then right in front of me, he placed the person of the Antichrist that is coming to the world, that is already in the world, but is going to do things when the church is taken away, especially during the Great Tribulation, when he will be revealed. During the last three and a half years of the Tribulation, the Great Tribulation now, when he will be revealed. Now, um, this past night, the Lord Jehovah, he took me to a place and he placed the person of the Antichrist at a close distance, quite a bit away, like about 20, 30 meters away. And he showed him to me seated there. And he was looking towards me in my direction. And I knew that he was going to be very deadly in the things he does. But in where he put him, I could not see his exact identity still, but I knew that he was looking at me. So this past night, the Lord showed me the person of the Antichrist. And we all know that uh, these events the Lord is speaking about. If you read the book of Second Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, the scripture says onwards, verses 2, 3 on, all the way up to 7. You hear the Lord saying that uh, this person of lawlessness will not be revealed until he that holds him back is taken out of the way. But we also know that he that holds back the activity or the revelation of the person of the Antichrist to be revealed is the Holy Spirit. And yet we know very well that uh, the Holy Spirit of the Lord, the habitation of the Holy Spirit of the Lord, the temple, the tent of the Holy Spirit. If you read the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse 3, he says, and then he heard a loud voice from the throne of God saying that, Behold, the temple of God is now with men. Behold, the tabernacle of the Holy Spirit is now man, is now man. And so when the Bible says that the person of the Antichrist will not be revealed until he that holds him back is taken out of the way, in the book of Thessalonians, he essentially implies that the church, the holy church, I mean the holy church, not the church teaching prosperity that you see right now, not the church that is indulging, indulging apostasy and lies, false prophecy, false apostles, false evangelism, false doctrine, doctrinal errors that they are doing right now. Not that church. I'm saying the holy church that has embraced repentance and holiness and absolute zero tolerance to, to sin, and the church that in that resolve the Holy Spirit has helped them. That church is the holy habitation of the Holy Spirit. She is not the church you see walking nude out there, where she has no wisdom to know that the world dresses naked, we should never dress naked, where she has no wisdom to know that Jesus, the Son of the living God, paid a heavy price for the salvation we saw behold. So I can never, ever treat it in vain by showing the same identity of the world in dressing, in talking, watching movies, and all the way they execute their lifestyle, their so-called Christian lifestyle, their version of the Christian lifestyle. I am talking about the holy church that has embraced repentance, has repented from sin, she beholds a repentant heart. Anytime she sins, she's able to detect that, no, this is wrong. This is sin. So she has developed a zero tolerance to sin. That church, if you read the book of First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 19, that is the holy temple of the Holy Spirit. If you read Revelation chapter 21, verse 3, that is the holy tent, the holy tabernacle of the Holy Spirit. 
And so the habitation of the Holy Spirit on this earth is actually the Holy Church of Christ. The wise virgins, wise meaning they are walking in the fear of God in how they execute their lives on this earth. The light of Christ on this earth. Now, when that church is taken away in the rapture of the church, when the Lord comes in the rapture and takes away that church, then the holy habitation of the Holy Spirit has been taken away. And because the holy habitation of the Holy Spirit will have been taken away at that time, at the occurrence of the rapture, in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, Then, because the habitation of the Holy Spirit has been taken away, the tent of the Holy Spirit, then the dispensation of the grace will also have come to an end because the person of the Holy Spirit will also have been taken away. And then the unfolding now of the events that reveal the Antichrist. Because it says, the person of lawlessness, the person of the Antichrist, will not be revealed until he that holds him back right now will have been taken out of the way. And that happens at the rapture of the church when the habitation, the holy habitation of the Holy Spirit will have been taken away. Then the Holy Spirit himself will have been taken away. Then there will be the revealing of this person, the person of the Antichrist. And so this first night, the Lord took me to a place And he placed him like 20 to 30 meters away, and he showed him to me, the person of the Antichrist that will torment the world. He will even sign a peace treaty with Israel. He will even exalt himself God. He will do all things abomination on this earth. And I see a very bitter conflict right ahead there after the church is taken away. And he that speaks with you can see himself in a serious conflict and clash. It will be unbearable time that no Christian would like to witness. So may all those that have ears repent and always be ready for the glorious coming of the Messiah. Do not deal with the events after the church is taken away. May the Lord bless the nations, the four ends of the earth. May the Lord bless the church that they behold this wisdom to walk in the fear of God, to reject all sin, and to always be in right standing with the Lord, for without holiness, nobody will see the Lord. And in so doing, they will evade, they will avoid the tremendous great tribulation that the Lord has shown me, and the actions, and the clash, and the conflict that involves this person the Lord introduced to me this past night. May the Lord bless you. Jesus is coming. Shalom. Shalom.